Alright, so this video is going to be short, but I just wanted to show you guys um, the four elements that are liquid at roughly room temperature. Cesium and gallium being uh, liars a little bit. So I guess we'll start off with uh, mercury here. So as you can see, this is mercury. It has a high surface tension. There we go. This is mercury. It looks, it's a mesmerizing liquid. Try to focus on it there. There we go, so that's mercury. Try to set it down gently. Well, there we go. And then this is bromine. I've shown this element a lot on my channel, but this is just one ampule I have of it. You can see it here. That it sometimes, in, or in some areas, it likes to stick to the glass. While in others it doesn't see how it wants to meet up here. There we go. So this is bromine. This is gallium. You can see it's quite oxidized. I mean it has a higher surface tension than mercury, but when it's combined with oxygen, or when oxygen reacts with it, it uh, it kind of gives it like this appearance. I don't know how to explain it, but the same people was specially treated with gallium chloride on the inside to prevent the gallium in the middle from sticking to the glass. So you can see how the gallium doesn't want to really stick here. Uh, on the edges it will, because this is where the gallium chloride uh, kind of evaporated when I was heating the torch, or heating the ampule. So that's that. And then we have one of the most interesting, I'd say, liquids at room temperature, cesium. And this is a gram of it. You can see it has an interesting yellow color. Uh, this cesium is oxidized, so I'm sure that the yellow color would be just a little more light. Because the yellow color here is pretty harsh. It still looks really interesting, though. Um, it's. I kind of wanted to compare it to gold in a way, but if I do get gold really quick. Sorry about that. But here, if I show you the gold, this is gold, and then this is cesium. You can kind of see uh, that they're not really the same. Gold has definitely a different color to it. So anyways, these are the elements that are roughly liquid at room temperature. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you in another video.